Hey, John Grubaugh, mantraining.com. Just got done a workout on the hill. Uh, you'll see it behind me here. I've the one I, I train on all the time. I had a 30 pound slam ball, and uh, all I did was carry the 30 pound slam ball to the top of the hill, throw it backwards over my head, let the momentum carry it down. I walk back down, grab it, and of course it went pretty far in. You'll see on the video. I picked it up, grabbed it, and repeated it 25 times. Now, I, I know people, a lot of people don't understand because a lot of people don't train this way, but it's like a guy that says his goal is to deadlift 400 or 500 pounds. And I, I often say to people, because I know, because I was lifting those heavy weights at one time, and I also worked blue collar. And I often ask these guys if do they think that um, that there's going to be a time when their 500 pound bench press, I mean, 500 uh, pound uh, deadlift, is going to help them out of a situation. And I mean, there's already stories. Everybody's heard the stories of the, the old ladies or the the, the women uh, lifting a car up off of their sons or children, whatever. And they're not deadlifting. So the reason I say that is because almost anything you lift in real world outside of the gym. Okay, you're only going to be lifting a percentage of it. For instance, in a loading dock in the trucking business, a lot of times we'd have to pick up 55 gallon drums that fell over, fell off a pallet, and put them back on a pallet. Okay, routinely these drums used to weigh like 550 pounds a piece, give or take. Okay, and these are steel, not plastic, which uh, they slide a little bit more, but they fall over. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't really anything for anybody to go in to a trailer, see the drum on the ground, squat down, put their hands on it, deadlift it, and stand it right back up. Now, these are people that didn't lift weights, okay? Just a percentage of 555 pounds, or 550 pounds. So it's done normally, okay? We'd go in there, and uh, we'd see you could do it with one hand, okay? This is normal. Uh, one time, a driver came in, and he actually had 22 55 gallon drums fall off fall over which means he was driving like an animal so anyhow i went in there i picked up all 22 drums put them back on a pallet not that big of a deal i liked it it was a good workout but i enjoyed it but so many people think that they're going to um be able to pick up this amount of weight off of somebody or off i, I don't even know I, I really don't get it because I do know that you couldn't, say you deadlift to 500 pounds, say that was your one rep max, and that's your gym, you want to lift heavy, nothing more than five reps. Grab the 30 pound slam ball, walk up and down some hills with it. I guarantee you're going to be fucking, you're going to, you're going to fucking fall over. You're not going to be able to do it. You're just not going to be able to do it. So other than the deadlift and, and, and the one rep max being uh, a goal for people, um, even I, I, I still believe it's, it's fucking more ego driven, but Hey, I did the same shit. Doesn't really have a lot of carryover unless you're training for the carryover. And most people aren't. Okay. I know that if you put on a 40, 50 pound rucksack, uh, backpack, weight vest and hit some hills, climb some steps, the guy that's only doing five reps is not going to be able to do to go very long. Matter of fact, I want to say in a bad situation and in, in, in a uh, shit hits the fan type situation, he's a weak link. He's a weak link. You have to drag him the fuck out because he's not going to be in any condition. He's not going to. You know, that's why, uh, you know, firemen. Firemen, they stay in really good shape because they have to drag people out. There's not a whole lot. A fucking fireman in there that are 250 pounds that are muscled up that uh, are going to get up and down real quick. Not very many. Just like Navy SEALs, same thing. Um, so, you know, I'm just saying, you know, it is what it is, but I train this way because I think it has a lot of benefit, a lot of carryover. Because let's just think, what if there was a situation where shit did hit the fan and you do, you did have to go out. And you did have to grab sandbags or rocks or something. And you had to carry it and get it fucking where it needed to be. You fucking guys that are doing uh, fucking these low reps. Yeah, you're not going to fucking be... You're not, not going to be able to do too much. You know, because that, that, uh, that one rep max isn't going to do a whole lot for you in that situation. So, you know, take for what it's worth. Later.